parents have have that concern about involving school at different times. So when we look at a 504, a 504 is actually an anti-discriminatory plan, right? And it is for an individual who has a disability and that disability uh, involves a major life area. So it's broad, as you can imagine, that that's a lot of things that could be impacted, right? Whereas for looking at an IEP, an individualized education program, the student not only has a disability, but it has to adversely impact education, and that can be functional, or that can be academic, or that can be both. So sometimes um, a family might go to someone uh, privately like you and want to receive a medical diagnosis. And they can absolutely do that on their own and share it or not share it with the school. And additionally, maybe they decide that the, some of the struggles or need for support does extend into the school. And that's the opportunity that they would say, hey, I'd like to sit down and look at writing a 504, or I'd like to have an evaluation for special ed services. But sometimes even the school comes to them. And that is under uh, something called child fine, because the school is responsible. If they see a child struggling, they're responsible to consider, is it necessary for us to ask the parent, um, does this child perhaps need an evaluation? So the school itself also has a responsibility under child fine.